What's going on everybody? This is Daniel back at it again for another reaction video. So, I just finished watching the Shadow of War gameplay walkthrough. And my god, does it look incredible. There are, I took some notes on what I really enjoyed about it. So, let's get right into it. So, the first thing I wanted to, to, to talk about is the different friendly types. I mean, you have the Armored Beast, the Demolisher, that I find really, really awesome because it's, uh, you know, the Lord of the Rings always has these, you know, epic fights and these epic battles, and I think they're trying to bring that into this game. And you can see with, you know, the two towers, the Battle of, of Helm's Deep, you could also see the battle at Pelennor Fields, which was awesome. And bringing that into the game, I think, is going to be a really, really good thing to do. Because in the first game, it was more or less just you taking on strongholds all by yourself. And it wasn't until later in the game that you gained all of the the ability to gain followers. And even then, it was uh, you know a little difficult to get a big army. So... The, the next thing I wanted to, to talk about was the Overlords. And as somebody like me who was a fan of the Dark Souls series, bringing a difficulty factor to it is is going to be great. Some people might not agree with me, but I think one of the things that Shadow of Mordor didn't do well was once you became super OP, it was really easy to play through the game and it just got... I don't know if I want to say boring, but it just got too easy to play, I guess. And I mostly just played it because I was a big fan of the Lord of the Rings series. Having the overloads and it looks like it was more of like a boss fight, like a Dark Souls style boss fight, is really intriguing to me. That I find really, really cool. The next thing that I noticed was there was the enemies can actually switch sides. So... You know, you can have an enemy that followed you, and then they can die, and they can be re as erected as an enemy, which I think is cool. Because then, you know, you want to pick and choose who, who you want to, to die, because you, like, you don't want to face them. So I think that is, is really cool. So the next thing I wanted to, to talk about was the combat. So the combat looks like it's relatively the same as Shadow of Mor Mordor. It's the same basic like Arkham style com combat. Um, it, it got a little re repetitive. I'm hoping that the strongholds and stuff like that, and all of the like overlords, I'm hoping that that can you know change change the game a little bit. Um, that that looks really really cool. The next thing that I wanted to get into was. The enemies can set traps for you. During the walkthrough, we saw that we got pulled into a trap where they spilled a bunch of oil down and they, they, they lit it on fire and they killed the standing army, which I thought was really because, cool. Because, you know, it makes you kind of second guess yourself when you go to attack something like do I want to bring these guys into battle and potentially have to fight them because they were resurrected by the the dark lord not really so you know it makes you it, it, it's trying to make you think more rather than just you know storming a stronghold then we have the drakes now the drakes look just awesome the drakes look really cool that's another really good element of where the game can actually go um, you can, it, it really seems like there's a lot more at your fingertips. You know, it seems like there's a lot more that you can actually do. And that's exciting. That's really exciting to, to, to me to see them bring in more aspects instead of just being able to ride, you know, Aragors and stuff like that. You're actually going to be able to control dragons and drakes like that is that blows my mind. That is really cool. Now, the next thing that's really that I found, you know, really awesome is defeating the war chiefs looks very difficult. I mean, it looks like when you're storming a overlord's stronghold that I mean, there's 
there was three war chiefs that you had to take down, which was really cool. So it's not just you storming something and going to killing a bunch of guys. There's a, there's a uh, you know you have you have a little bit of strategy that you have to, to uh, uh, go through. So that brings a new aspect to what the game is, and I find that awesome. Now, what's really cool too is that you can call your friends in, you know, your your ar- army in during a boss fight. Like that's really cool. You know that you can call in a a some 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 armored ca- Aragor with a war chief on it. Like that that's awesome. You know, it's just like it, it's just like calling in. It's like summoning somebody in Dark Souls for a boss fight. Like that's really cool, and. It, it it brings a whole new aspect to the game that you know that you want to defeat this guy by yourself, but you may need a little bit of help, and and that's okay. And the difficulty factor in the game, I hope it it goes up, and I hope it's a little bit more difficult. But I also hope that it's not too too difficult to a point where it's not fair. And I think that they're going to hit the right balance of it being fair versus it just being difficult just to be difficult. Now, what's great about getting into a stronghold is, or at least taking it over, is like you don't just gain XP. You gain places to train your army. You get places to you know, increase your followers. And you get places to you know, get your army stronger. And that... That's really cool. Like there, there's so many things that have just been changed about this game that just are just gonna make it awesome, and I'm really excited for it. I, I don't know about anybody else, but I haven't been this pumped for a game since Dark Souls Three. I'm super pumped for, for this game, and I can't wait to get it into my hands. Now, one thing that we are doing too is I am doing a Let's Play series on Shadow of Mordor. I will put a link in the description to that, and you can follow me there. Currently, I'm doing one to two videos a week for it. They're about 15 to 20 minutes just in preparation for this game to get into the mindset of this game and, you know, possibly just to refresh myself on some of the Middle-Earth lore and stuff that happened in that game. So to round out this video here, you have just watched a reaction video of the Shadow of War gameplay walkthrough. Something that I am super excited for. I actually canceled my pre-order for Andromeda, and I pre-ordered this instead. So that's how excited I am for this. So you can go check out all of our con- content at supernovagames.net. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video if you did like it, because that lets me know that you like what I am doing. Subscribe for all of our Shadow of Mordor Let's Play con- content. We got some more to come. We're going to be doing a Neo series, a possibly doing a Dark Souls 3 walkthrough as well. So we got a bunch more con- con- content in store for you. Make sure to check out us on all of our social media platforms as well. You can check us out on our Instagram, which is Supernova Games underscores between the words. You can also find us on facebook.com slash Supernova Games and Entertainment. You can also check us out on Snapchat, which is supernova underscore games. And then finally on our Twitter, which is at games supernova. So you have watched another reaction video from Supernova Games. Peace out, guys.